Hey, what's up good people? This is not a typical episode. Basically, I feel compelled to make this video because recently Worker announced an upcoming product which is a shell of a blaster that is to replace a Strife shell and they called it the Swordfish. Now, I am personally taking some issue with that because there already is a Swordfish out there and I'm talking about this kit right here. The Argus Modworks Swordfish Conversion Kit. It is a Strife bullpup conversion kit and to my knowledge it is the first bullpup conversion kit for the strife it's 3d printed and it is for the strife and it is unfortunate because i don't know why worker wants to name their product after something that is already available in the market and if you guys don't believe me i'll put links in the video description down below and you guys can check out argus modworks etsy page that is where i procured my kit and this was actually released quite some time ago like at least half a year or even more and i feel a little bit bad because i did not make this video i just sat on it for a long time but for those of you who have been following me on instagram you would have known and you would have seen that i posted a picture of my completed swordfish so in my opinion i feel like what's up like what is up? I am the one that suggested the name Prophecy for the Prophecy Blaster or the Prophecy Shell basically. But this time around, I don't know why they're calling it the Swordfish. I don't know who came up with the name Swordfish. And I don't know if Worker did any research, prior research to other products available in the market. I don't know if they already knew about it and they chose not to care or if they genuinely did not know about it at all. Because well, the person who is behind Argus Modworks, his name is Tho En and he resides in Taiwan. Well, worker we all know is in China. So here's the thing that I take issue with. I feel that a form of respect or some kind of credit or acknowledgement, at least acknowledgement, should be given, should be made. And I'm sure that a lot of you know about this swordfish kit. Even Drak, I believe, made a video about this particular swordfish kit, this bullpup swordfish kit. And the thing that irked me a little bit, and I'm not calling anyone out on this because it's just a personal gripe, I felt that when pictures were leaked or basically shared into the Nerf Facebook groups, at first by Gavin Monkey Mods, and then even Light Take decided to post a giveaway post, and even people like John Mendelbaum, he was actually posting something about this kit as well. And even Jangular spoke about it on his channel. I mean, his channel's way bigger than mine now, and he's producing some awesome content. So shout out to you, Jangular. But the thing that I take issue with, and it's a personal gripe, I'm not calling anyone out, and it's, I'm stressing this again, is that no one, or at least no one that I noticed, pointed out the fact that the Swordfish is already an existing product. Why did no one stand up for this? Why did no one say anything? And I felt that I was the only one saying it. I was commenting as responses to those posts. I even left a comment on Jangular's video saying that I just feel kind of shitty that Worker would do something like that, would just call something the Swordfish. I mean, think about it. If you are a designer or if you make something for Nerf, like accessories or whatever, and you name it something, and then out of nowhere, a bigger company, I'm, I'm saying that Worker is a bigger company because they are more established than Argus Modworks here. It is unfortunate, but that is the truth. And they just come up with a product and they name their product the same name as something that you already have. Whether or not it is the same product or accessory that you are making, but to call it the same name is already bad enough. This time worker is making a Strife shell. A reshell, a shell, a shell for you to put your Strife internals in, and they're calling it the Swordfish. But this Swordfish is a Strife body kit. You know what I mean? So I feel like this isn't getting enough recognition, and so I'm making this video because I feel bad that this had to happen before I actually made this video because this really, Argus Modworks, Thornton, you deserve all the recognition that you should get for this kit because it is it is a very beautiful bullpup kit. I mean, you guys cannot deny how awesome it looks. And at the same time, I want to share with you some of the interesting facts about it because first of all, you guys have seen this Strife before. It is my first XSW full auto Strife. This one right here, I'm, I'm sure you guys remember this. So I took that and I kind of used that as a base. But this is a bullpup mod. You see that the rev switch and the trigger is right here and then the mag goes in here. Don't worry, I'll give you guys a firing demonstration. I will not be showing you the internals because I've kind of locked it in already so I don't want to open it up again. But basically this part over here is your stock 
piece, which looks really cool. And then you have to rewire it all the way to the front. So now the new switches are in here, very, very beautifully housed inside here. And then of course you got the grip in front and you've got this connector piece up here. But for the barrel, this is meant for an F10555 printed barrel. This is the Worker F10555 collaboration barrel, the one with the extended Picatinny rail on top. Now, if you want to, you could use your standard retaliator front attachment piece or something shorter. But uh, if you use something too short, it's gonna be a bit shorter than the bottom part and to me that looks a bit strange but basically that is kind of your customizing options available for you so this is the exact one that argus mod works showcased and so i decided to go ahead and purchase this separately from f10555 but here's the coolest thing because i was one of the first 10 that purchased this kit from the argus mod works etsy page i was actually given a customized nameplate and it is just beautiful i mean it's got my name on it and it is in metal. It's a sheet of metal and I don't know how this is done. It could be laser etched, it could be ground out, I'm not so sure, but it says Argus Modworks Psych with a very, very nice hexagonal or honeycomb kind of detail. And then I'm using a worker clear barrel on the inside just so I could have a nice clear translucent orange accent. And then this golden muzzle, hold on. Originally, I was using this Mengun F10 555 front muzzle attachment, but this, this golden muzzle, I don't know where it's from, but this was actually in the big box that I mentioned to you guys before, my buddy Adrian from Melbourne sent over to me. And I was like, a golden muzzle would just kind of add some class and some prestige to this blaster over here. And I love the way it turned out, I really, really do. And then I got some LaRue Tactical Orange Indexing Rails, is that what you call it? orange indexing clips. Oh yeah, they're called indexing clips. So these are in orange. I got a bunch of them in different colors. I've got red, I've got gray, I've got orange, I've got black, and I've got white, I believe. And that's basically all the colors that they have. Oh no, there's also pink. So I got almost all the colors that they actually released. And I think that just adding a little bit here and there really adds to the accent of the entire blaster and I really love it. So now that I'm done introducing to you guys why I'm making this video and about this kit as a whole, I'm gonna say that one of the most impressive things to me about this kit is that it is different even though it is, like I mentioned, the first bullpup conversion kit for the Strife that I know of. There might be before this, I don't know, but this was released like sometime ago. Uh, I had this kit for quite some time, at least half a year. I just took my time with the whole build and then I just didn't bother to make a video and I apologize again for the delay of making this video. But what I like about this that sets it apart from the other bullpup kits available, for example, the Yang Nima Ma Liang 3D Tavor, which is coming soon. I actually have one of those kits, yes. And also the VHS2 kit by DH3D. I also have one of those, so yes, just... Let me have my fun building those kits, okay? But the main thing that sets this apart from those is that those kits require you to have, it's a mandatory thing, they require you to have a full auto kit installed into the Strife. But for this, this does not. This trigger right here is actually a long pusher piece that is going inside here. It's being hidden inside this part over here. And it goes back here, you see this pin? See how it actuates there? Yep. But because mine already has an XSW full auto kit, it doesn't go all the way because that's already activating the trigger inside, the original trigger switch for the full auto kit. But if you don't have a full auto kit, this leads all the way here and it goes around the trigger. So when you pull this back, it actually pushes the original trigger inside there. So you don't have to have a full auto kit. You can run off a strife with upgraded motors and your higher voltage systems and everything, but still have a single fire mode, the original non-full auto version of the strife. And that's what I think is the beauty of this kit because it gives you that option whether or not you already have a full auto kit or if you're just gonna go for a single firing mode like in the original form. So for me it was a really simple rewiring because I was already very familiar with the wiring system. I'm the one that made it anyway so all I had to do was just take the ref switch and then just extend that wire all the way out to here and that's it. That's it. That's all I had to do. And there's one more thing about this kit that I feel needs to be given a highlight. Okay, if you lift up the jam door and you take this piece and you slide it forward, 
like so. There's an extra compartment here for you to keep if you want to your LiPo battery. So you could have the wiring done to the back here where you could keep this flush. But like I said, this stripe was already done. But if I did not want to expand the battery tray area and just keep it flush like the stock version, I could run the wires back behind this stock attachment or underneath the stock attachment. As long as it doesn't get in the way of the pusher mechanism, you could have your LiPo sitting in here and it'd be such an easy way to swap out your batteries. Just change your batteries, slide this close, push down your jam door and it is done. You can't really open it this way because the jam door gets in the way. And that to me is just genius. That is, that is pretty damn awesome. So just talking about it, I'm like really excited. So you know what guys, I'm gonna give you all a firing demonstration. That's what all of you really want, right? It's just, it looks so, so awesome, so beautiful. So beautiful, right? So first I got a 10 dart banana mag. This one was from some, I, I don't know, some knockoff blaster. But it looks damn good. Just feast your eyes, everyone. Seriously, just feast your eyes. This thing looks really, really good. And then I got the Embus flip-up sights. There you go. Look at how sweet this thing looks. Okay, I'm gonna change my hand because most of you are right-handed. So here you go. Look at how sweet this is, look. I'm trying my best to maintain trigger discipline here, but you know, it's really, really close by at the front. But there you go. So, firing demonstration of 10 darts in this mag. Let's go. Done. And there's a slot cut out here where you can actually have an extended mag release lever or if you're not using an extended mag release lever, that's fine. Just it's really simple guys. This kit is really, really well thought out and that is to be expected because Thornton himself is a Nerf enthusiast and he's also got advice from 3D BBQ. In case you don't know who that is, he's the man behind the JSPB 3D project. Now, I've got another mag. This mag is a F10 555. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the Dragon Industries, one of the older banana mags and this is in black. Just... Look at how cool this is, guys. The Nerf Swordfish Bullpup Strife. I've got 15 darts in this. Should work, because I haven't used this mag in a long, long time. If anything jams up, it's gonna be because of the mag. So please pardon me, but here we go. I'm trying to angle myself a little bit more so you can get a different firing angle. Something like this, what do you guys think? Hmm? Is it okay? Good, let's go. Clearly the mag wasn't feeding darts fast enough for the pusher mechanism, so you can't blame the system, you gotta blame this mag because it's really, really old. But then just take it out, swap it out. It's that simple. And I really feel like more people should know about this kit. I'm sorry Toan, like I, I, I did not make a video about this earlier. Uh, I just want you guys to know that no, I was not sponsored this. I paid full price for this. Thornton found out later that I bought it and he sent me a message saying that he wished that I had told him I was going to get one or I wanted one so he could give me a discount. And I said, no, I just wanted to pay full price because I want to support him as a maker. And you know, because I've run an Etsy store before, so I know the kind of prices and the kind of fees that you have to pay. So now before I end off the video, there's just one thing that I want to mention about this kit that is a slight little gripe. It's not really a gripe, but it's just something that I wish could have been changed. And that is, I know you guys are gonna hate me for this, maybe, I hope not, but I'm just nitpicking, I really am. And that is that I just wish that the trigger and the ref switch were not in red. It is a semi kind of translucent red, but I just wish that it was not red. I wish that it was orange instead. This thing, orange and black, just looks so good. This here, Spread. And of course, all these pins that you have, uh, there actually are pins here as well. I colored these pins black with a Sharpie because all these pins are actually Delrin rod that was cut down. So these are all made of Delrin and Delrin usually just comes in either black or white. So maybe he could have got black instead. But yeah, I mean, you know, I'm just nitpicking. So apart from all of that, guys, this is once again the Argus Modworks Swordfish Bullpup Conversion Kit for the Strife. One of the first few that I ever heard of in the market and one of the best looking kits out there. Body kits, conversion kits, whatever you want to call it for the strife. I love the idea, I love the execution, I love the fact that you don't have to have a full auto kit 
for the trigger so that you can still use your strap even if you have it in the semi stock version because you know stock means that you're gonna have like stock motors and you still have to gonna rewire this anyway at least for the flywheel so you can rev it up good job to Argus Modworks and Toren I'm looking forward to seeing what other new kits or new designs that you might be coming up with in the future and you know that you have my fullest support. So with that said, finally, I do hope that somehow Worker picks up on this video because I don't have a direct line of contact with Worker. I just hope that they would reconsider naming their product the Swordfish as well because this is the Swordfish. It came out at least six months before your product was even announced. And I think that it's just a form of courtesy. It's a form of respect. And I believe that if everyone just keeps doing this within our community, it's just gonna do nothing but harm the community is just going to make everything a lot more confusing and there are going to be a lot more arguments and it's never a good thing you know what i mean i feel that this community and this hobby is already such a small and niche hobby that everyone should stand together and band up together and say look look i know you're in a different market from all of us because all of our demographics are all different but there already is a swordfish available in the market and this is the swordfish kit for the strife essentially the same blaster base the strife so this one is a swordfish. I wanted to get word out there to everyone else and also to share with you guys how I felt. So this doesn't really constitute a proper episode, but it still is a feature of a very beautiful kit that deserves as much recognition as any other kit out there in the market. Good print quality, very well thought out and very easy to install. And it is very satisfying once you get it running because this is super, super sweet. And before I end off this video, I want to remind you guys that the giveaway for the Disillusion kit is still ongoing. And it is a little bit unfortunate. It seems like a thousand likes is going to be a little bit impossible because right now I'm getting about 182, maybe close to 200 likes in that video. But it's got a pretty good number of views and I don't understand what's going on. So maybe I'll have to change my expectations. I might change the number down to like if I could get like 500 likes or something. I, I don't know. But I really want to do that giveaway. So I'm going to talk to Enoch again and see how we can rework this thing because that is not the only item that Enoch is sponsoring for giveaway but you know in order to be fair i need some kind of a response you know it's a like a give and take kind of thing it, i guess it's enoch's way of helping my channel to grow and also in return people know about him more and then if my viewership goes up and if the likes go up then the video gets more popular on youtube the algorithm works a little bit better because at the end of the day whoever wins you don't have to pay a single cent you know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna cover the worldwide shipping. I don't know how that's gonna work out from now on, but believe me, the giveaway will still happen. I just, I'm just gonna rework something and let you guys know, yeah? And with that, I'm here to say goodbye for this episode. Not really an episode, but still an episode anyway. Thank you so much for sticking all the way throughout and watching this whole episode. Let me know what you guys think about the whole situation. Let me know if you guys think I'm crazy. Let me know if you guys think that I'm just overthinking everything. I just want to hear what you think in the comments below. Or you could also talk to me about this and tell me what you think about this. But yes, I've already given up some information to you guys. I have the Tavor kit. I have the VHS2 kit as well. So stay tuned for that. I don't know when those videos will be out, but I will be doing a very quick showcase video of the Young Nima S2, aka the Strike 2 kit for the Strife very, very soon. I promise. And this is really a promise. I won't be disappearing for a few months to showcase you that video, all right? So once again, this is the Argus Modworks Swordfish Bullpup Conversion Kit for the Strife. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drills pay the bills. Teamwork makes the dream work. And I know that you guys want that ending, so you're gonna get it. Peace.